religions. We're going to be dealing with a number of topics uh, and a couple of key terms. Uh, first, we're going to be dealing with the term of polytheism, monotheism, and we're going to be dealing with several different topics. The Maya, Aztec, and Inca, their religious practices. Then we're going to jump over to Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Now, how we're going to cover this unit is a series of focus questions. And that's going to lead us up to what's called the essential question. Now, the first focus question are pretty simple. What are the basic principles of the major religions? In order to answer the eventual essential question, which we'll get to in a second, you're going to be able to answer these four. Where and how did the major world religions develop? What is the role of religion in the day-to-day -day life of a people or a civilization? And how have the major world religions interacted over time and what were the consequences? This one right here is probably going to be key. Now, the essential question. How do world religions impact the world and its inhabitants? Now, I don't really expect you to understand this question in its entirety right now. But over time, religions have interacted positively and negatively and what, over, over the course of world history. And what we want to take a look at is how have they interacted in the past, how are they currently interacting, and hopefully we can come arrive at a conclusion as how do world religions impact the world and its inhabitants. So we're going to be all over the place as far as the globe is concerned, as I stated earlier, I mentioned the Aztec Inca Maya. We're going to be dealing around here. We're going to jump over to India, Hinduism and Bud Buddhism, then the three Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Uh, we're going to ta be talking about Western Europe and the medieval period and the rise of the church. So first off, we're, here we have the Aztecs the Maya, and the Inca. We're going to examine their religious practices, like I stated earlier. And then we're going to jump over, and we're going to take a look at Hinduism. We're going to take a look at the basic physical geography of the Indus Valley, uh, some major cities of Indian civilization, the caste system, for example, we're also going to take a look at, and the basic tenets of Hinduism. Then we're going to jump over just a little bit, and we're going to take a look at Buddhism, with its origins in India, the Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, and the denial of Hinduism. And we're also going to examine the spread and the appeal of Buddhism. Then we're going to take a quick look at Judaism. Albeit it's not in the current world history one or two frameworks, I think it's really important that we take a look at it, because it plays a major role in world history, uh, especially with the next two faiths that we're going to take a look at. Christianity, the world's largest faith, we're going to take a look at the basic teachings and the death of Christ. We're going to take a look at the Bible with the four Gospels, the sacred text, purely from a historical perspective, merely acknowledging it as the holy text for the Christians. Uh, we're going to talk about the basic division of the East and Western churches. We're going to talk about something called the iconoclastic controversy that split the East and the West Church. We're going to talk about the Orthodox Church, the Western Church. We're going to talk about the Great Schism. We're going to talk about the structure of the Medieval Church, the sacraments in the Catholic Church, the role of religion, salvation in everyday life, and the role that it played in the Christian's life during the Medieval period. We're also going to take a look at the rise of Islam. We're going to discuss the geography of the Arabian Peninsula, the Bedouin and the trading, the holy city of Mecca and Medina. We're going to take a look at the life and teachings of Muhammad, including the five pillars, the Quran, the Hijra, and Muhammad's ascension into heaven. But we're also going to take a look at a very current topic, the Sunni and Shia split, the basic idea of the split, and the major differences between the two sects. And so when we're done taking a look at the religions, we're going to take a look at a case study. 
in our particular case study that everyone is going to be examining will be the Crusades. Crusades were a series of military expeditions, pilgrimages really, that began with Pope Urban's call in Clermont in 1095. And it lasted from 1095 to well into the 1200s. Ultimately a failure, they still have an impact today. So we're going to take a look at the players involved, the reasons for the crusading, the first crusade, Saladin recapturing Jerusalem after it falls to the crusaders, the third crusade with Richard, Philip, and Frederick, and the long-term impacts and effects of the crusades. So I don't want you to be like this guy, full of questions uh, and afraid to ask, although he doesn't seem he's afraid to ask. So if you have any questions, please drop me an email, see me in class, and we're going to get to work.